This is a text map video, it's part one of two, where I'll be reading Little Beaver and the Echo and we'll be looking at the pictures on the text map together. And then part two of two will be when I'm acting out the text map and you can act it along with me. So don't forget to watch both parts when it's out. Little Beaver lived alone by the edge of a big pond. He didn't have any friends. One day, he began to cry out louder and louder. Suddenly, he heard something. On the other side of the pond, someone was crying too. Little Beaver stopped crying and listened. The crying stopped. Little Beaver was alone again. Boo-hoo, he said. Boo-hoo, said the voice from across the pond. Little Beaver stopped crying. Why are you crying? asked the little beaver. Why are you crying? asked the voice. Little beaver thought and said, I need a friend. The voice from across the pond called out, I need a friend. Little beaver couldn't believe it. On the other side of the pond lived someone who was sad and needed a friend. He got into his boat and went to find him. He paddled and paddled. Then he saw a duck swimming in circles by himself. I'm looking for someone who needs a friend, said Little Beaver. Were you crying? I do need a friend, said the duck, but it wasn't me who was crying. I'll be your friend, said Little Beaver. So the duck jumped into the boat. They paddled and paddled. Then they saw an otter sliding by the bank all by himself. We're looking for someone who needs a friend, said Little Beaver. Were you crying? I do need a friend, said the otter, but it wasn't me who was crying. We'll be your friends, said Little Beaver and the Duck. So the otter jumped into the boat. They paddled and paddled. Then they saw a turtle sunning himself all alone. We're looking for someone who needs a friend, said Little Beaver. Were you crying? I do need a friend, said the turtle. But it wasn't me who was crying. We'll be your friends, said Little Beaver and the Duck and the otter. So the turtle jumped into the boat. They paddled and paddled until they came to the end of the pond. Here lived a wise beaver all alone. Little beaver told him how he wanted to find out who was crying. It wasn't the duck, he said. It wasn't the otter and it wasn't the turtle. Who was it? It was the echo, said the wise beaver. From the other side of the pond, no matter where you are, the echo is always across the pond from you. Why is he crying, said little beaver. When you are sad, the echo is sad, said the wise old beaver. But how can I find him and be his friend? asked Little Beaver. He doesn't have any friends and neither do I. Except for me, said the duck. And me, said the otter. And me, said the turtle. Little Beaver looked surprised. Yes, he said, I have lots of friends now. And he was so happy that he said it again very loudly. I have lots of friends now. From across the pond, a voice answered him. I have lots of friends now. You see? said the wise beaver when you're happy the echo is happy when you have friends he has friends too hooray shouted little beaver and the duck and the otter and the turtle and the echo shouted back to them hooray so now that you've heard the story once and you're understanding what the plot is who the main characters are what the themes are and just the general feel of the story i recommend going back and watching and listening a few more times just so you can start to internalize it but remember, we can't properly internalise it until we learn the actions together. So don't forget to come back and check when part two is up and you can watch me do the actions and we can practice along together.